Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. How was your day? How was your day? Have, did you have a good day? Yes, a good day. Okay, great news. What about the rest of you? How are you today? Have you practiced in the platform? Have you yes. practiced? Yes, I practice. Okay. How are you doing? Have you started the section four? I finished the section five. Ah, okay. So you did all. Did you do the final exam too? No. No. Only, no. Okay. So, what about you, Jose? How are you doing with the platform? Eh, todavía no he terminado la sección 4. Or section 4. Ah, oh, but you're okay because uh, we are starting the section 4. Estamos empezando la sección 4 y si usted ya la está trabajando, va bien, va como al día. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And the rest of you, Carolina, Bea. Okay, I suppose that you are there. Okay, let's just start with a little review about yesterday class. Do you remember yesterday we were talking about uh, quantifiers? Yes, so we're going to have a short practice. How about that? I have this presentation, so you can practice. Yes, with countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, look at this story. Who's right? Mr. How much or Mr. How many? We can to select the correct option and I'm going to click it for you. So uh, what do you remember? When do we use how much? For countable or uncountable? No count. No countable. Uncountable. No countable. Uh -huh. No countable or uncountable. And how many? Countable. Countable. Countable nouns. Uh -huh. Things that we can count. Okay. So let's begin. Someone stole food. Someone stole food and drinks. So the detective asked, how much or how many food did he steal, Jader? Um, I need to how, complete that question with how much or how many food did he steal? How much? Let's see. Yes, perfect. How much food did he steal? That's the question, cuánta comida, how much food? La palabra comida, food, is uncountable. That's why we use how much. Mm -hmm. Very good, Jader. Uh, let's you. see, uh, Jose. It says he stole some apples. Mm, how much? Apples? How many? Uncontable. How many? How many? Uh -huh. How many? Because we can count apples. Podemos contar las manzanas. Es una palabra que tiene plural, apples. That's why, how many? Okay. What is a steal? Esta palabra. A steal? No. Ah, F uh -huh. robar. Ah. Uh -huh. If you remember at the beginning of the story, vamos a empezar desde la empieza. Okay, you see? Yes. Yes. Oh. Uh -huh. 
they are checking. Okay. Now, let's continue here. La palabra steal es robar. Okay, yes. robar. Okay, he stole some sugar. Aquí está en pasado. Stole es el pasado. Stop. Robó. Mm -hmm. He stole some sugar. Now, what is the correct? How much or how many? How much? How, how much? much? Yes, that's correct. How much sugar? The word sugar is on front. Now, bottles of water. Bea, are you there, Beatriz? Pedro? Uh, how much bottles of water? Many. How many? Many bottles. What is how the correct? Many, contar, oh, see. Okay, bottles. Yes, how many? Porque podemos contar las botellas. Botellas de agua se pueden contar, botellas. Okay, how many bottles of water did he steal? How many? Okay, good. Let us continue with the next slide. Okay, Monica. How many bananas did he steal? Excellent, that's the answer. How many bananas did he steal? See the next one. Carolina. Carlos? How many milk did he steal? How many milk? Did he steal? How many? How much? How much? How much? How much? Correct. How, much? How, how much? Because milk, la palabra milk is incontable. Yeah. That's why how much milk? How much? Okay. Um, Hugo? Okay. Uh, how much cheese did he steal? Yes, that's correct. How much cheese did he steal? Got it? How many tomatoes did he steal? Yes, that's correct. How many tomatoes? Countable tomatoes, men. Wine. Wine. Let's see. How much? Jose, what do you think? He's not there, Monica? How much wine did he steal? Yes, how much wine did he steal? Wine. Very nice. Vino. Okay. Um, Carlos? Um, how much orange juice did he steal? Yes, that's the answer. How much orange juice did he steal? Right. Uh, Jose? Cake. How many? Yes, that's the answer. How many cakes did he steal? Okay. You did it good here. You did a good job in this game and which we are reviewing. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Close this is close escape. Okay, let us see. What is it? 
Okay. Another topic that we studied was uh, the use of some and any, right? También estudiamos el uso de some y any, okay? Yeah. And yeah. in this, uh, it's a kind of test that we're going to check understanding. Remember that we use se, uh, some, plural noun, and uncountable noun. El som lo puede usar con nombres contables o con incontables. Lo puede usar en, uh, en oraciones afirmativas, ok? Some. En oraciones negativas vamos a usar any. Y en preguntas, bueno, en preguntas se pueden usar ambos. Se puede usar some y se puede usar any. Pero en este ejercicio solo lo estamos utilizando con any. Okay. So in what we think questions, aquí está una nota, en la nota 1, que es parte de lo que decíamos en las slides que compartimos ayer. En questions, aquí solo tenemos ejemplos con any. Ok. En la pregunta. Pero en la nota 1 nos dice lo que expliqué ayer. Right? Which questions in which statement, with questions in which statement we ask, expect the answer to be yes, we can use some instead of any. Ok. Si esperamos que la respuesta sea sí, que sea afirmativa, podemos usar some en preguntas. Si esperamos una respuesta afirmativa, en vez de any, podemos usar some. Por ejemplo, could you please give me some bananas? Right? This is asking for some bananas. ¿Podrías por favor darme algunas bananas? Esperamos que nos digan que sí cuando pedimos algo tal como bananas, agua o... ¿Verdad? Ok, some uncountable nouns include coffee, food, health, homework, information, milk, money, paper, right, salt, soup, sugar, tea, time, water. Esos son algunos nombres incontables. Estos que ven acá. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. Oh, ¿Estamos claros? No questions. ¿Cómo, cómo este, qué diferencia hay entre any y many y son y mucho? Um, any, ok, any es, solo lo va a usar en oraciones negativas y en pregunta. En una oración negativa el any sería equivalente a decir nada de... Okay. O ningún o ninguna. Okay. Si usted ve la oración que está aquí, I don't have any cookies. No tengo ninguna galletas. I don't need any water. No necesito nada de agua. Y many, many es un quantifier que significa muchos. Eh, la otra que me dijo. Eh, son y muchos. Ok, son, digamos que como quantifier, nos sirven para indicar cantidad para que tengamos una idea. Si yo digo son, estoy diciendo algunos, algunos, o algo de tal cosa. Y el otro que me dijo con son. Much. Much, el much es, eh, significa mucho. Y el much uh, se usa con incontables. Ajá. Ajá. El much. Esa sería Plural. la diferencia principal. Este, many sería singular, eh, plural. Y no, el no, no. Much. Uh, Many, many, digamos que many se usa con contables y much incontables. Incontable. Ajá. Bueno, gracias. Ok. 
Now, let's try to do this exercise. Vamos a tratar de hacer este ejercicio. Ok, vamos a estar completando con son o con n, parecido a lo que hicimos ayer. Les voy a dar un tiempo para que lo hagan en su cuaderno. Y basado en esto vamos a ver si estamos, cómo estamos con este tema. <clears throat> Finish that part.
Finish? No. Finish. Okay. What about the rest of you? Have you finished? Yeah. I finished. Okay. Let us start checking the answers. Okay, when it's a summer, any yes, you have to 
de object. Ahí pueden chequear si hicieron bien su trabajo. Number one is any. In number two, you have the two options. Some or any, it's okay. Number three, any or any. In five, you have the two, uh, well, any and any. Then some. In seven, is some. In eight, you have the two, any and some. Let me know when you finish checking your work. No. Oh. Una consulta. Yes. Cuando utilizamos el adverbio tú o el auxiliar do, lleva any. Se coloca any. Sí, sí, any, any es independiente de que sea do o das. <coughs> Finish checking. Ya finalizaron de chequear. Finished. Sí. Finish. Ok, if you finish. Aquí pueden ver. Si tuvieron las 15 buenas, significa que. Can. Si tuvieron 14 buenas, 9.3, 9.3. 13 buenas, 8.7. 12 buenas equivale a un 8. Y así sucesivamente. Have you finished? Finish? Finish. Finish. Okay. Finish. How was it? What was your grade, uh, Jader? Uh, eight. 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 Ah, that's really good. What about you, Pedro? What was your grade? Eighteen. Eight. Okay, that is good. What about you, Monica? Eight. Okay, excellent. Carolina, what about you? Me faltaron algunas. <laughs> okay. So, in general, you did a good job. It's just practice we will continue practicing here okay let's see here So yesterday we said that we use uh, we can use the articles a uh, and an for count noun in singular in this exercise. We did it yesterday, right? Yeah. So we have some other samples here that we can practice. Let's practice pronunciation. Here in this exercise is aim to practice pronunciation. In this you can see, notice the stressed words. The stressed words are the ones that have this little circle above. Like for example, in this sentence, you would say, do we need any eggs? Let's repeat, do we need any eggs? Do we need any eggs? Uh-huh. You notice the stress in the word eggs, right? One more time. Do we need any eggs? Do we, do we, do we need, need any eggs? eggs? Yes. 
Yes. Yes. yes. yes. yes. We need yes. some eggs. We need we some, need some, some eggs. Egg. Egg. Uh -huh. Do we need any eggs? Do we, Do we need, need any eggs? eggs? Yes, we need some eggs. Yes. 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 We need some, some eggs. eggs. Some eggs. Okay. Do we need any letters? Do, Do we, we need, need any letters? Any letters? No, we don't need any letters. No, no, no. we don't need, we need any, letters. Any, any letters. Okay. Do we need any letters? Do we need we any need letters? letters? No, we don't need any letters. No, no, no. we don't no, need, no, need any letters. letters. Okay, good. Uh-huh. This is just as you see the important words are um are stressed in this um you will practice take turns and ask do we need and questions about the picture the food in the picture then look at the shopping list and answer the shopping list the shopping list is including the things that you need okay let's read the shopping list. let's repeat oranges Orange. 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 tomatoes tomatoes celery potatoes onions broccoli broccoli kiwis Kiwi. Apples. 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 One more time. Oranges. 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 Tomatoes. 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 Celery. Tomato. Celery. Celery. Potatoes. Potatoes. Onions. 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 Broccoli. 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 Kiwis. Kiwi. Kiwi. Apples. Apples. Okay. Now, do you have any question regarding the vocabulary? Celery. Celery. This is the celery. Can you see here? Celery. Apio. That's it. Apio. Do you like celery? Yes. Uh, yes. 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 It's delicious. Uh -huh. Yes, I like. All right. Uh, now let's practice asking. Say, um, let's read the example. Do we need any oranges? Yes, we need some oranges. Yes, we, yes, need, we need, need some oranges. oranges. Do we need any letters? Do, Do we, we need any letters? letters? Do you need any letters? Let's see. Let's Let see. see. No, we don't need any letters. No, no. Oh. Don't, don't, don't need any letters. Any letters. Okay. Now, let's look at the picture and ask, um, let's practice like this. I will start and then you will volunteer to practice, okay? Uh, let's say, for example, yeah, there, do we need any kiwis? No, I... Do I we need, need any kiwis? Any kiwis. Tenemos uh, que yes. ver la lista de compras. Um, yes, um, we need them. Uh, yes. I need any kiwis. Yes, we need some kiwis. Oh. Yes, we need some kiwis. Some kiwis. Ya terminaste. <laughs> okay. Uh, volunteer to ask a question? Okay, Pedro. Ask a question to somebody. So you can ask Bea, Carlos, Carolina. Okay, Carlos. We need... Any salary? Yes. Uh, we need some salary. Okay, very good, Carlos. Would you like to ask another question? Another volunteer to ask a question? Okay, Jose, ask a question. Do we need any broccoli? Aquí, Alfredo, Carolina, Bea. Bea. 
Okay, Bea, mm -hmm. do we need any broccoli? Yes, we need some broccoli. Okay, very good. Good. You can ask also about the picture. Um, for example, Carolina? Mm -hmm. Carolina? Hello. Do we need any potatoes? Um, Sería Pedro. Pedro? Yes. Yes, we need some potatoes. Okay. Um, Monica. Yes. Do we need do we need any lettuce? Yes, we need some lettuce. Um, look no. at the list. Uh, no, we don't need any lettuce. Okay, excellent. No, we don't need any lettuce. Porque no está en la lista, verdad? No. Okay. Okay, we don't do need, we any need any lettuce. Any apple? Do we need any apples? A quién? A Bea. Um, yes, we need some apples. Apple. Okay, continue. A volunteer to continue? You. Mm -hmm. Yes? Alguien que continúa preguntando? Do we need carrot? Any carrot? Do we need any carrot? A quién? Do we Hugo. need any carrot? Hugo. A quién le pre a Hugo. Okay, Hugo, okay. do we need any carrot? Eh, no, we don't need any carrot. Okay, very good, Hugo. Would you like to continue asking question? Hey, do we need any lemons, Carlos? No. We don't need any lemon. Okay, very good. <laughs> Let's continue. Who wants to continue? Do we need any banana? Uh, to whom? A quien? Alfredo? No, we don't need any banana. Okay, continue. <laughs> Alfredo, would you like to continue? Do we need any potatoes? To whom? Yes, we need some potatoes. Okay, can you continue, Carolina? Uh, do we need any, any kiwis? Jenny? Jenny? Okay. Yes. Yes, we need some kiwi. Okay, very good. So I think that you did enough practice and you did a very, very good job. Okay, let's practice with this vocabulary. Ah, the question is, what do you have for breakfast? Can you repeat? What do you have for what breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? Okay, let's see, the United States. The United, the United States. 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 Cereal with milk. Cereal with milk. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. 
Orange juice. Orange, Orange juice. juice. Coffee. 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 Japan. 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 Fish. 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 Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Pickles. 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 Green tea. Green, Green tea. tea. Mexico. 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 Eggs. 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 Beans. 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 Tortillas. 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 Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Okay, those are the traditional traditional breakfast in the United States, in Japan, and in Mexico. Well, here, what do you have for breakfast, Jenny? What do you have for breakfast, Jenny? I sometimes have, in my case, I personally, I sometimes have a cereal with milk. Um, I always have a uh, sweet bread and coffee, and uh, sometimes I have tamales and coffee for breakfast. What about you, Jenny? What do you have for breakfast? Carlos, what do you have for breakfast, Carlos? I have for breakfast. Uh, Eggs, beans, cheese. Uh huh. That, that was... <laughs> that's <laughs> it. No? Okay, that's it. Now ask the question to other classmates, Carlos. The same question. What do you have for breakfast? <laughs> What do you have for breakfast, Rocio? I have for breakfast and, and fresh fruit and milk. Oh, very healthy. Bien saludable, very healthy. Mm. Okay, continue. Ask another person. What do you have for breakfast? Um, okay, what do you have for breakfast, Hugo? Okay, uh, I have breakfast, uh, coffee with milk, beans and bananas, eggs and, and little bread, and sometimes pupusas. Oh, okay, very nice. Continue. Ask the question to another classmate. What do you have for breakfast, Jader? I have for breakfast beans, um, chocolate, uh, bread, and egg. Okay, continue, Jader. What do you have for Breakfast, Bea. What for breakfast? Uh, I have for breakfast. I, what I have for, for breakfast. Uh -huh, I cereal have with breakfast. milk. Cereal with milk and French fruit. Fresh fruit. French fruit. Okay. Continue, Rocio. Ask the question to another classmate. What do you have for breakfast, Monica? I have for breakfast coffee, sweet bread, eggs, beans, and bread. Okay, very good. Good job. Now, let us take a look to the conversation that we have here. Let's practice pronunciation. 
Well, the topic of the conversation is fish for breakfast. Can you repeat? Fish for breakfast? Fish for breakfast. For breakfast. Okay, now let's practice that conversation. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Pretty good. Let's do it again. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Okay. 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 One more time. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Okay. Really? What do you have? Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Okay, one more time. We usually have fish, rice, and soup. We, we usually have, 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 have fish, 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 fish for breakfast. Fish for breakfast. For breakfast. That's interesting. That's, That's interesting. interesting. Okay. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Uh -huh. interesting. 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 Very good. Interesting. 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 Es como si esta e, esta e que está aquí no suena. Interesting. Ajá. Interesting. Interesting. Excellent. Excellent. Omita la primera e. Interesting. Interesting. Uh -huh. There you go. That word is kind of difficult to pronounce. Esa palabra es un poquito difícil de pronunciar. Solo omita la primera e. Interesting. 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 Okay, suenan bien. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Let's continue. Sometimes we have a salad too. Sometimes we have a salad too. A salad too. And we always have green tea. And we always have green tea. Okay. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Sometimes we have a salad too. We always have green tea. We always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. Well, well I, never I never eat fish for breakfast. breakfast. For breakfast. But I like to try new things. But, but I, I like, like to try, try new, new things. things. Very nice. Let's repeat it one more time. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Well, well I, I never, never eat, eat fish breakfast, for breakfast, but, but I, like I like to try, to try, try new, new, like to try try new things. things. Okay, very nice. Let's listen some volunteers to practice the conversation. Volunteers. I have Pedro. Hay dos, hay dos, hay dos. Pedro and Yader. You can start Pedro and then Yader. Okay. Let's, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, fries, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like it to try new things. Okay, one more time. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, Interesting. good. Would you like to change, Ross? Change. 
¿Quién empezó? Pedro empezó, ¿verdad? Sí. Yes. Ok, ahora empiece Yadel. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok, come on to my house. My family always has a Japanese style. Breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too and we always have a green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, very good. It's ours. One more time. Interesting. 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 Okay, very good. You did an excellent job with the pronunciation. Let's try another two. Other two volunteers? Okay, let's see. Other three, two, 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 six, six, three. Let's see. I have yes, Carlos. Yes. And Jose. Sometimes we have a salad. Yes. Okay, salad let's practice. Too. You can start Jose yes. and then Carlos. Okay. Let's have a breakfast to her on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and salt. Fish for breakfast sounds interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Will, I never had fish for breakfast, but I like to try new string. Okay, great job. Now let's change. Now you start, Carlos. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. José. José. Sigo yo. Sigo yo. Sí, sí. Hoy empezó él. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. We changed. Ah, okay. Okay. okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. On Sunday. What do you have? We we usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That is interesting. Interesting. Interesting, uh huh. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, great. You did a pretty good job. Pretty good. Uh -huh. So, do we have any two more volunteers, uh, Jose? No, yeah, no, verdad? So, I have Carolina. Yes. Who wants to practice with Carolina? Okay, Bea. Okay, Carolina and Bea. You start, Carolina. Okay. Let's let her break for together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has Japanese style. Still, still. Style. Breakfast on style. Breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, very good. Now, well, it's almost time to finish the class. So always remember you did a very, very good job with the pronunciation. The only word that is kind of trouble, esta palabra siempre, siempre es problemática. Pero ahí vamos a ir. Remember? Interesting. Interesting. 
No se menciona la E que va acá, ¿verdad? Esta. Interesting. 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 Uh -huh. Interesting. And that's it. Interesting. And that's it. You did a very, very good job. So thank you for clicking. Do you have any question? No. No, no questions? No. Okay, keep on practicing. Don't forget to always practice in the platform. And uh, let's just start thinking about any topic that's been difficult for you. Pueden ir pensando en algún tema que se les haya dificultado o que aún sientan que no lo agarraron muy bien. Y para que hagamos un repaso la próxima semana. Okay. 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 Thank you for clicking. I hope for you sleep well and see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Sleep Bye. well and see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.